So this is gonna be a quick video on how to open and clean the bin on a Dyson V7 motorhead or any Dyson V7 vacuum for that matter. I've seen a lot of confusion about this and it's actually not the easiest process. So I wanted to show everyone how to do it properly. First of all, let's, let's see how we did it on the V6. This is the Dyson V6. This is the bin. To open the bin, you just push this down. The bin opens, that's it. Very simple, somewhat effective, but not super effective with stuff tends to get caught in this area. With the V7, the mechanism was redesigned, which made the cleaning of the bin more complex, but more effective. So to clean the bin on the V7, you're gonna get this piece right here, hold it upright, hold the vacuum upright, pull this piece back, so towards you, and then pull it up. Nothing's gonna happen. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. It doesn't seem like anything wants to happen. Pull a little bit further, and the bottom will pop open. Now you can see that this whole area is clean is, uh, you know, the uh, filter area has been removed from the bin. So this whole area, none of the, the debris will get stuck. To close it, push the top down until it clicks. Then push the bottom in place. You're gonna wanna push the bottom in place first. Don't do it. It's better to push the top down first. Okay, here's that process again. Hold it upright over whatever you want the debris to go into. Don't hold it just like in the middle of your bathroom. Hold it over a wastebasket or garbage can, whatever. Get the red tab on the top, pull it back. Now pull it up, straight up. The bottom will open by itself. Everything is gonna fall out into your garbage pail, whatever. Now, push the top straight down until it clicks. Then, get the bottom, push it until it clicks. Should be a really clean process with no uh, muddiness or confusion to the click. Just a firm click up. This drops to the bottom. Your debris falls out. Firm click back down and then close it and you're good. Thanks for watching.